these cases, dear. Sir? Unpack them. I write to you. It's all I can do. And now I know it is in your power to punish my presuming heart. Yet if you have one drop of pity, you'll not abandon me to my unhappy fate. I am in love with you, and I must tell you this for my heart. My heart, which belongs to you, will surely break. I would never have revealed my shame to you, if just once a week I might see you, exchange a word or two, and then think day and night of one thing alone till our next meeting. But you're unsociable, they say, that the country bores you. Is it true? Does the country bore you? Sometimes I wonder that you ever visited us. Why? I'd never have known you or known this agony and fever. I know that all my life's been leading me to this union with you. I recognized you at first sight and knew with certainty. I said to myself, it's him, it's come. Help me. Resolve my doubts. Perhaps all this is nonsense, emptiness, a delusion, and, and quite another fate awaits me. Imagine it. I'm here alone, half out of my mind. I dread to read this over, my secret longing. I know that I can trust your mother, though I feel faint from shame and fear. Tatiana. I can foresee the bitter scorn blazing at me from your proud eyes when you have read my secret sorrow. When we first met, through chance I saw tenderness like a shooting star, but did not dare to put my faith in it. Then Lenski fell, which parted us still further. Then I tore my heart away from everything it loved, rootless, estranged from all I thought that liberty and peace would serve instead of happiness. My God, how wrong I was. How I've been punished. No. Day by day to be with you, follow you everywhere, alive to every smile, each movement of your eyes to dwell upon your soul's perfection. Listen to your voice, grow faint with yearning. That is bliss, and I'm cut off from it. My time is short each day, and hour is precious, yet I just drag 
been a glimpse of you.